Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here and welcome to Mask Monday and don't I look a fright with this red mask on. This is a cranberry sugar face scrub that you can leave on as a mask for five minutes and so anyway, you, uh, it's from Girlactic. I don't know if you can see this packaging or not. But anyway, it's got cranberry seeds in it and emollients and it works. It, the sugar melts into your skin and it also helps to exfoliate with the cranberry seeds and it smells fruity and it's just wonderful and I really like this and so even though it's a scrub you know you can leave it on as a mask and let those emollients just penetrate the skin and moisturize the skin and I've already had this on for a couple of minutes but I thought that I would show you you know what to do when you get it on you just rub it in and you move it like in upward circular motions and you just get the target those places that are really needing the help you know as far as exfoliating goes and then of course you want to rub it in everywhere so those emollients can get into your skin and don't forget your neck so anyway, I got a bowl of warm water here, and I'm just going to start to remove it. Try to, and you just use like a terry cloth, washcloth, something that has some fibers in it, not microfibers, but regular fibers, and. It'll work really, really well with all of those exfoliants to cleanse your face and scrub it and, you know, exfoliate. And this is what my skin needs today. Now, I could exfoliate a number of different ways, but I chose a physical exfoliant today. Because <clears throat> it seems like... There's different times of the year when my skin has different needs. It works in seasons. And chemical exfoliants can sometimes dry out your skin. So in the wintertime, you know, you want something that's going to provide some kind of moisture as well. So I'm just trying to stay away from the chemical exfoliants right now, at least for today. <laughs> And just focus on what my skin needs. My skin needs moisture. My skin needs to be exfoliated. So I chose a physical exfoliate that has emollients in it. And it also brightens the skin because it's got cranberry in it and it's got vitamin C. And so it's like a double whammy kind of a product. It's really quite nice. And I've received this I can't remember. It was in a subscription box. It, it was either BoxyCharm or Ipsy. I may have purchased it from one of their sites. Anyway, but I didn't pay full retail price for it. But I really am glad that I picked it up or that I got it. Because, you know, you never know until you try something what's going to be like a favorite. And this has really moved up the ladder, you know as far as physical exfoliants are concerned as a favorite for me because I keep reaching for it and there's quite a bit in this pot it's uh, eight it's 80 grams 2.82 ounces and I've already used it probably I don't know four or five times maybe <coughs> But I really like it. And so with the washcloth, you can just, you know, wash it right off your face. Or you can stand at the sink and, you know, or you can get in the shower. And just like that, it's all off. <laughs> and it's amazing. And I love it. Oh yeah, that felt so good. 
and then you can feel your face afterwards there's no dryness and of course all the little particles you know have melted in and rubbed off and all of that and then you're done I mean it just takes like five minutes to sit on your face if you want to let it set you don't have to let it set but I chose to let it set today and then of course a couple of minutes to wash it off okay I never did put my hair up so let me put my hair up and then I've got I've got some things to show you I placed an order my friend Vicki let me start at the beginning my friend Vicki gave me a lipstick about a month ago and it's really sheer and it's from this company called Uoma and I was fascinated by it not so much the packaging but anyway it's Uoma Sharon C and it's called lips don't lie lipstick and it's real sheer and it's in the shade loud which is like this really bright red which can be intimidating, especially since it's an orangey red. But when I tried it on, I realized how sheer it was. And it smells like peppermint. And it's more like a lip balm. But that's one pass right there. But it builds. And so if you wanted to put on you know two or three layers and build up that color you could and I love it now it doesn't taste like peppermint but it smells just like peppermint anyway they have different shades and so I got on their website and you know I saw how affordable it was and you could even take a lip liner let me just take this one here because it's handy and go around the edges and add a bit of definition and even a little bit more color and you you know you can wear it it's so versatile you could wear it as a lip balm as a sheer lipstick without a lip liner or you can wear it you know with a lip liner you know to help make your lips look more full or more defined or to bring a little bit more color into it so because it is such a great product I wanted to explore <coughs> the brand and I've seen the brand on BoxyCharm but I've never really you know delved into it so while I was there on the website they were having this most amazing sale let me set this I got some other things here and let me open the box up because I ordered several things and I wanted to show them to y'all because I think first of all I got this amazing deal I was really excited about the deal and then <coughs> this pack and slip doesn't have the prices on it but I wanted to get the free shipping and so anyway and I ordered um, some things that were like half price and then they had a coupon code as well because it was a holiday sale and I was able to apply that coupon code on top of the sale items and it just blew my mind you know the great products that I was able to uh, pick up that day for it wasn't hardly anything it was like $25 $30 something like that so anyway I want to share those things with you today and we'll start with 
we'll start with um, the sheer lipsticks so anyway um, this one shade here it's called lips don't lie thirsty which is like this brown kind of a wine color I don't know if you can see it so there's the color on that look at that color y'all isn't that beautiful and again this is that sheer formula so see how sheer that is but it can build up and keep in mind that it's going to go over the natural color of your lips so I'm totally into these kind of products right now totally into them okay and then this one is called high key which has a bit more red in it so let me just open this <clears throat> It's got that kind of packaging that um, has a perforation, you know, that goes down the side. Anyway, it's a safety seal. So anyway, let's sing the safety seal song while I try and fool with this and get it off. <laughs> anyway, safety seal, safety seal. We like it when the products have a safety seal. So yay for the safety seal. And I really like that. I really like the safety seal anyway this color right here is more of a true red there it goes so look at that similar similar to thirsty but Let's compare the two of them side by side. <coughs> Similar but different. So this is more of like a brick red with maybe a little bit of, you know, wine or brown in it. And this one is more of a true red. So let's watch it. And let's build it up. So just a slight difference when you get it on the hand. But again, you know, let me remind you that the natural color of your lips is going to play a part <clears throat> in how this appears on your lips. Anyway, there's the one I'm wearing right there on the end and we'll build it up. And you can see it's darker, more of a true red, and this is more of an orangey red. So anyway, I'm really excited to have these. I uh, picked up this little quad palette. It's called Eye Service. They had three to choose from, but I chose the one with the mo most wearable neutrals. This is, the. it's called One and Done. Two-in-one brow styler. This is how it's packaged. And on this end, you have the pencil. Really one of those small, fine tip micro pencils. And then on this side, you have the brow gel. Real tiny little brush. I really like those kind. And then, of course, the products in the cap. Okay, now let's check out the foundations. Um, this is Fair Lady. Uh, T1C. This is how that's packaged. And this is a cooler toned shade. And I really couldn't tell by the website if this one, they had quite a few to choose from. I couldn't tell if that one was going to be the best for me or this other one called Fair Lady T2N, which is neutral. And I thought, because the neutral looked kind of yellowish. And I thought, you know, I would test them both out. So let me just show you. I'll just show you right here on my hand. 
Now, yeah, I think you're going to want to shake these up. Anyway, it's a thinner type formula. And it's a liquid. But pretty full coverage. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes. So you can't really tell if this is going to be a good match for me right here on my arm. But it seems to be blending in really well. Let's see, that's my natural skin tone right there, which has a little bit more pink in it than this right here. So <laughs> the cooler tone one might be too pink. So I'm just going to put some right there. I don't know. I figured I could mix them if I had to. But they were so affordable, I just, you know, I didn't hesitate to buy two. But anyway, I like the formula because it's so thin. I mean, it's really thin. And it's not the kind of foundation that's going to dry your skin out either. It's going to leave a really pretty finish. So, anyway, I'm just going over what I put down. Because I don't, really don't have anywhere else to go. There's, it's, it's just spreads and spreads. It's just really full coverage. But I really like that. So, again, this looks a bit yellow. This one looks more true to my skin tone. I usually don't wear cool shades. I usually wear neutrals, but, you know, I figured I could at least give it a shot. So, and again, you're going to want to uh, shake these really well, you know, because there's product in there that... It's got, like, um... A moisturizing component in there that needs to be mixed in okay so there's the foundations we will be testing those out so here's one it's called speak no evil lips don't lie that's how that's packaged I really like the packaging and this is in the shade Too Much. Look at this, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. Alright, so let me let me give it a swatcheroo here. And again, these are sheer. But they're a little bit less sheer than the others. So a really pretty brown. Alright, here's another one still in the brown family but this one has more red in it really pretty wine color love it so this wine color one again is called too much and the browner one is called fighter And then I picked up this one right here, which is called, um, it's a metallic lipstick in the shade Poise, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, and here's the component on that. Really pretty. Oh my gosh, will you take a look at that? It's covered in like these really pretty glitter particles. And then, of course, the lipstick itself is that metallic. So let me swatch it right here on the end. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Metallic. So anyway, I like to wear these garnet kind of shades, especially January and February. It just They just seem like they just go good for the dead of the winter and for you know valentine's day and stuff so that's kind of what i had on my mind there when i placed this order okay and then i have a couple of concealers here i got uh they're both in the same shade 
but anyway I bought two of them because I had two foundations and I figured but I, I pretty much knew my shade for this one so I bought two of the same one it's called white pearl t2 and here's what the component looks like big fat doe foot I'm just gonna put a little dot right there on my hand and we'll just blend it out and this seems like it's full coverage too Wow on top of that foundation it's good. the the fat the foundation was thin but this is a thicker type formula Wow will you look at that it covered every freckle every vein every flaw that concealer is going to be good y'all all right so those are the concealers I bought, again I bought two of those in the same shade t2 which is really close to my skin tone it's not really a brightening concealer it's just a covering concealer all right now let me open up this eyeshadow palette so there it is right there so you have to lift the rubber band up to get into the palette and there's no protective seal on top of the shadows because it's all right there all right so let's swatch these these are called glazed shine on them lunar and enlightened so two shimmers and two mattes so anyway you can do a decent look with these shades so the two bottom ones are the mattes great transition shade you could deepen the up with the outer V and then put this on the lid in the inner corner so boom boom shakalaka So there they are. Quite similar. But you see the lipsticks would all go with this eyeshadow palette. Just beautiful. And then when you're through making your eyeshadow look, you just put the little rubber band right back on top of it. Huh. Isn't that cute? All right. I will have to leave the link to Yoma Beauty down in the description for you guys in case you're interested. If nothing else, you got to pick up these sheer lipsticks. I mean, they're amazing. So, but that eyeshadow is not bad either. So, I'm looking forward to trying out the foundation and everything too. And the eyebrow pencil. So, hopefully everything will work for me. But anyway, we'll have to come back and do that another time. All right, I'm going to edit this video and get it up for you guys. Uh, happy Mask Monday, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. Lots of exciting things going on this month on my channel. And so stay tuned for all of that. And God bless you. Today is my prayer. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.